Any? Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, Good evening. Miss Teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Mister. Okay. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo han estado? Bien. ¿Todo bien? Bien. Todo bien. Okay. Vale, solo me aseguro que se esté grabando la clase y sí se está grabando. Perfecto. Bye. Por favor, enciendan sus cámaras. Veo que Carlos tiene una foto estática. Para que digan que tiene la cámara encendida, dice él. Vaya. Los demás, si les está funcionando, por favor, enciéndanla. Si no les funciona, pues háganmelo saber, etc. El día de hoy vamos a iniciar con, bueno, vamos a continuar realmente porque no hemos terminado todo eh, lo que incluye el pasado simple. En el pasado simple hay varias cosas que tenemos que tomar en consideración. Cómo son las reglas, los verbos. ¿Qué tipo de verbos tenemos? ¿Cuántos tipos de verbos tenemos en el, en, en el pasado? Irregulares, regulares. Ok, ¿qué tipo de verbos vimos ya? El gerundio. Irregular. No Irregular inventen, verbo. el gerundio no hemos visto. ¿Y no. el ING? No. no, pero con el pasado. Estamos hablando ah. del pasado. Ah. Ok, regular ya, verbs. ya vimos los regular verbs. Ajá. Sí. Y tenemos reglas con los regular verbs. Uh, do you remember what the rules are? What are the rules for regular verbs? G, G, G. Mm, ok. So... Uh, if the verb ends in letter Y, we eliminate the letter Y to I, E, D. What happens if the verb ends in consonant, vowel, consonant? What do we do? We duplicate the last consonant and we are going to add E, D. How about... Elisa dice, buenas noches, teacher. Mi cámara me falla. Solo voy a estar de oyente. Ok. Um, what happens if the verb ends in letter E? Are we going to add ED or just the letter D? Uh -huh. A letter D. Just the letter D, correct? Okay. And what are the three pronunciations that we have for the regular verbs? Uh, we rehab. The three pronunciations that we have for regular verbs. Which um, is? The. Eat. Those are the three pronunciations that we have. Do. Aware. Eat. Okay. Today, we are going to practice the use of irregular verbs. Irregular verbs. With irregular verbs, there are no rules. Okay? Because they change completely. What you need to do is just to memorize them. You need to learn them by heart. Okay? No hay reglas para los verbos irregulares. Solo tienen que memorizarlos. That's it. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions. Let me go ahead and check here. Let's see. Uh, Carlos, can you hear me? Yes, no, maybe. Carlos. Oh, 
Okay. Let's see, Elisa, what is the past of have? Uh, no sé. Uh -huh. You need to practice the regular verbs. It's the, had. Had, had, exactly. Uh, let's see, Jenny, what is the past of uh, say? Irregular verbs. What is the past of say? Miriam, the past of say? What is the past of say? Si. No. The past of say is said. Uh -huh. Jenny, what is the, the past of do? Don't. Did. Did. Jose Alejandro, what is the past of C? Uh-huh. Gabriel, what is the past of C? Edwin, what is the past of C? So. So, excellent. Uh, Gabriel, what is the past of make? Sorry, repeat please. What is the past of make? Make. Mm -hmm. Made. Yes. Uh, Leticia, what is the past of find? Uh -huh. Griselda, what is the past of find? <laughs> Found. Found. Um, Milena, what is the past of no? Uh huh. Gabriel, what is the past of no? New. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Nelson, are you here? No, right? Areli, what is the past of get? Got. Get? Got. Got. Thank you. Yes. Miriam, what is the past to go? When? Yes. Uh, Erica, what is the past of right? Right. Uh huh. What is the past of right? Right. Road. Berosli, what is the past of think? Good evening. Hi, think. good evening. Uh huh. <laughs> Teacher, no he entrado porque no me dejaba entrar. El, it's okay. La plataforma. Okay. What is the past mm, of right? Right. Yeah. El verbo, el verbo. Mm -hmm. I don't know, teacher. 
Okay, Jenny Lisette, what is the past of right? The right? Yes. Road? Griselda, what is the past of think? Thoughts. Thoughts. Gabriel, what is the past of uh, come? Game. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Leticia says, uh, let me see. Estaré oyente, se me presentó inconveniente. Okay, Leticia. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Can you see it or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. No. Nothing. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Okay. It's all oh. right. Okay. It's all right. Here we go. Here we go. Can you see it? Okay, cool. Now, uh, there you have, let me put it over here. Okay, there you have the list of irregular verbs and we're going to continue learning them. We're going to continue practicing the irregular verbs, okay? Uh, we're going to move to the part number two. So let me go ahead and see the volunteers I have. Hi. Hi. Okay. Just give me one minute. Okay, we are going to work on on the uh, irregular verbs part two. Amalia, uh, read it, please. The three of them. Take, take, talk, token. Take, took, taken. Arely, repeat. Put, put, put. Put, put, put. Okay. Thank you. Berosli. Con... Hello. Okay. Continue. Tell, told, told. Tell, tell, told, told. Carlos. Give, gave, given. Edwin. Give, gave, given. Give, gave, given. Elisa, read, read, read. Read, what, read. Erika, keep, kept, kept. Keep, kept, kept. Teacher. Yes. Uh, um, on question, ¿por qué esas son iguales? Put, 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 y uh, red, red, red. Y aquí hay uh, otra, cut, cut, cut. Let, 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 también. Ok. Esos son eh, excepciones. Eso no cambia. Usted puede decir, I put, I put the phone on the table eh, today. Or, you can say, I put the phone on the table every day. Entonces, si usted dice every day, estamos hablando del presente, pero si dice I put the phone on the table yesterday, ahí está hablando del pasado. Entonces, lo que va a cambiar va a ser el, la expresión de tiempo, time, the, the time expression. expresión. Uh -huh. okay. Gabriel, continue, please. Uh, keep kept kept. Keep kept kept. Erika. 
Begin, began, be gone. Begin, began, be gone. Begin, began, be gone. Gabriel. Begin, be let, let, let. Let, let, let. Griselda. Hear, heard, heard. Hear, heard, hell. Jenny Lisseth. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Jose Alejandro. Eat, ate, eaten. Marcos. Ok. José Alejandro. ¿Puede repetir, por favor? Es que te, se me fue un poco el inter. Ok. Eat, ate, eaten. Eat, ate, eaten. Thank you. Marcos. Run, mm -hmm. ran, run. <laughs> run, run, run. Run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Leticia. Bring, brought, brought. Uh, bring, rub, rub. Yes. We are going to continue with the part number three. Miriam, feel, felt, felt. Feel, felt, felt. Marcos, hold, held, held. Hold, held, held. Tiffany, stand, stood, stood. Sang a soul, a stool. Jenny, lose, lost, lost. Lose, lost, lost. Yesenia, catch, caught, caught. Catch, caught, caught. Okay. Jenny, buy, bought, bought. Jenny Marisol. Buy, bought, bought. Yesenia Guadalupe, send, sent, sent. Send, send, send. Claudia Cruz, fall, fell, fallen. Marcos, fall, fell, fallen. Fall, fell, fallen. Milena, choose, chose, chosen. Amalia, choose, chose, chosen. Choose, chose, chosen. Ali, yes. Uh, understand? No, no. Ah, Under no lo dije. Understand, understood, understood. Understand, understood, understood. Yes. Okay. Arely, um, sleep, slept, slept. Sleep, slept, slept. Verosly, speak, spoke, spoken. Speak, spoke, spoken. Carlos, meet, met, met. Elisa Maria, meet, met, met. Meet, met, met. Edwin, lead, led, led. Lead, led, led. Erika Naomi, bite, bit, bitten. Bite, bit, bitten. Gabriel Guevara, hit, hit, hit. Hit, hit, hit. Griselda Mejia, Drive, drove, driven. Drive, drove, driven. Jenny Lisette, break, broke, broken. Break, broke, broken. Mm -hmm. Jose Alejandro, sit, sat, sat. Sit, sat, sat. Leticia Margarita, spend, spent, spent. Spend, spend, mm -hmm. spend. Marcos, ring, rank, wrong. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, wrong, wrong. Miriam, wear, wore, worn. 
War, 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 war. War, war. Wear, war, war. Okay. Tiffany. Sell, sold, sold. Sell, sold, sold. Jenny Marisol. Beat, beat, beaten. Beat, beat, beat. Yesenia Guadalupe. Win, won, won. Win, won, won. Eh, Amalia. Eh, hurt, 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 hurt. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Yes. Jose Alejandro. Sing, sing, song. Sing, sang, sung. Sing, sang, sang, song. Song. Sing, sang, song. Sing, sang, song. Okay. Areli. Blow, blue, plong. <laughs> blow, blue, blow. Berosli. Rice, rose, risen. Rice, rose, risen. Teacher, uh -huh. una question. Yes. Um, por, por ejemplo, usted acaba de decir blonde, blue, blow. Blow, blue, blonde. Uh -huh. Ah, blue. Pero el, el en medio se suena como azul, ¿verdad? Como el color, ajá. Pero ajá, la pronunciación entonces, es diferente. La, la, la escritura es diferente. Pero la es, pronunciación es igual, ¿verdad? Es como el color, ajá. Como que usted diga blue, azul. Eh, uh -huh. Es bien importante el contexto, ¿verdad, teacher? Para, Correcto. Para entender. Es, eso es lo que todo el mundo hacemos. Cuando no entendemos algo, nos enfocamos en el contexto. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, eh, no. ajá. ¿Qué significa eso, teacher? Disculpe ahí la ignorancia. ¿Cuál? El blow, blue, blown. Blow, blue, sí. Soplar. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, quiero de tarea que lo traduzcan todos. Ok. Porque lo podemos estar sí. practicando, pero si no se saben cómo, qué es lo que significa, eh, ahí se van a perder. Tienen que saber qué significa para saber cómo usarlo. Sí. Ok. Yeah. All right. Eh, Gabriel. Guevara, rice, rose, risen. Rice, rose, risen, risen. Eric, Erika, Noemi, fly, flu, flown. Fly, flew, flu, flown. Yep. Eh, Leticia, drink, drank, drunk. Dream, drink, drunk. Marcos, forget, forgot, forgotten. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Tiffany, throw through throng. Throw, drift, throng. Throw through throng. Throw, drift, throng. Marcos, hang, hung, hung. Hang, hung, hung. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's continue, guys, with the next slide because we're going to work on the platform. There you have WH questions. Um, with just no questions, your answer is just yes, I did. And the negative. No, I didn't. No, I don't. No, no, I don't. No. Didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh -huh. No, I didn't. We're using the simple past. And these are WH questions. In WH questions, to, uh, to answer those questions, you need to give extra information. Example, Eberosli. What 
Oh, don't forget the auxiliary here. The auxiliary. Look, look at this. What did you play last week? What did you play last week? Mm, I, I I did play. I, no, I played. Uh, I play. No le coloco el did. No. I para responder play. no. Solo para yes no questions si uh -huh. van a decir yes I did no I didn't. Pero para uh -huh. wh questions you are going to give extra information. Um, I play the uh, play soccer. I played last week. soccer last I, week. Last week. It, give me, <laughs> give me one minute. The man, un minuto. Oh. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay. No era dúo y se pone did. Es que como es el pasado, Alejandro. Did. Ah, do es do. did. Ah, do presente. O sea, y el pasado de do es did. Pero el did es auxiliar. Did, ¿Cuál sería? Um, Dad. Uh, lo, no, lo ve por ahí por la lista. Ok. No. Thank no. you, guys. Oh, ya regresó la mis. Mister. Mister, mister, mister. Mister, mister. mister estábamos a, conversando entre los compañeros de que por qué va el DID y, y estábamos conversando que es porque es el pasado de Edu, ¿verdad? Es auxiliar, Ajá. ¿verdad, dicha? Y el. Es, y... Uh -huh. Pero Ese es auxiliar. también es un verbo principal, ¿verdad? Correcto. Lo que pasa es de que el did aquí solo está funcionando como un auxiliar. Y este did le va a modificar el verbo. Entonces, para pregunta, usted siempre va a hacer, va a usar did. Sería el such as, ¿verdad, auxiliar? Mm -hmm. No. No, w, la WH question. WH questions. Plus, plus eh, auxiliar. Plus, plus the auxiliary. Such, uh, plus subject. subject plus plus verb, verb. In time present. And time expressions. Oh, okay. Time expressions. Okay. Is that clear? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, it's clear. A little. <laughs> okay. Now, let me see. We have here, where did you have lunch yesterday? And this question is going to be answered by Gabriel. Where do you have a... Um, Lunch yesterday. Um, I have lunch. I has I. I has a lunch. What is the past to have? Miren la lista. The past is had. Uh -huh. Aha. I, I had. Had. Lunch, lunch. The yesterday. Chicken. Chicken. Yesterday. Okay. I have lunch yesterday. 
sí. Cuando ustedes hacen la pregunta, usan el auxiliar y si se fijan, el verbo va normal. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos usando el auxiliar. Pero esto sucede solo con pregunta. Su respuesta, este verbo, usted lo va, va a cambiar al pasado para responder. Entonces ya no va a decir, I have lunch eh, yesterday in the, in the house. Si dice I have, está incorrecto. Porque el pasado de have is... Have. Had. Oh, have. I had lunch yesterday. Ok, one more time. Marcos, no, eh, Gabriel, where do you, where do you have lunch yesterday? Where do you have lunch yesterday? I have lunch yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I have, have lunch I in have. my house yesterday. Where do you have lunch yesterday? Exactly. I had lunch in my house yesterday. Exactly. Because where, what is where in, in Spanish? What does ¿Dónde? where mean? ¿Dónde? Exacto. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Le estoy preguntando ¿Dónde? en dónde almorzar. ¿Dónde? Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Let's see. Um, Edwin, who did you visit last weekend? Who did you visit last weekend? Edwin? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. You. I, who did you visit last weekend? I visit my side. I visit. What is, side. What is the past of visit? Visit it. Visit it. Visit it. Who visit did my... you visit last weekend? Uh huh. I visited. My girlfriend last weekend. I visited my girlfriend last weekend. Aha, uh -huh. Jose Alejandro. Uh, repeat, please. El que que repita. Uh, la pregunta. Ah, okay. Who do you visit? Who do you visit last weekend? A quien visitaste? El fin de pasado. When I visit the B. I visited. Visit. I visited my mom. Excellent. Uh huh. Let's see. And my boyfriend. And your boyfriend. Okay. Good. Miriam, what did you buy? What did you buy? Three years ago. Uh, I bought broke. Mm -hmm. um, my house three years ago. I bought. Excellent. The past of buy is bought. Broke. Bought. No brought. Bought. Okay. Bought. Mm -hmm. Tiffany, uh, who did you meet yesterday? Who did you meet yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay, Marcos, who did you meet yesterday? I met it with my brother yesterday. Okay, what is the past of meet, Marcos? Met. 
Mirt. No. Met. Met. Yes. Met. Okay. I I meet with my brother yesterday. I met. 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 Mm -hmm. I met with my Verosly. brother. Where? Hello. Where do you go last week? Where did you go last week? Ay, ¿cuál es el pasado de go? Ahí tiene la lista. Ya ven qué yes. importantes Thank son los you. verbos para responder. Thank you. My classmate, thank you. Um, I get... Uh, Where uh, did you go last week? week? Last week. I get, get el pasado, bro. No, yes. what is the past of go? No le digan. Where? ¿Cuál es el pasado del go? W-I-T, ¿verdad? W I T Ah Wet 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 se escribe W de T, ¿verdad, bro? No Adivinando estoy bro. I went Adivinando la cosa Wen I went Wen. I went en la cosa Sorry uh -huh. I went mm -hmm. The part last week I went to the at park par, last at week. At par, sorry, sorry. At par. Okay. Okay. Easy? Difficult? Sí, porque le preguntan a uno en el verbo presente, pero usted responde en el verbo pasado. Correcto. Así mero. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. And I'm going to read uh, the instructions. It says, look at here, instructions, okay? Instructions, complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verbs in the past. Okay, and the first one is going to be Edwin. Uh-huh. Edwin. Oh, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Did you? Uh -huh. Enjoy, enjoy. Ah, no, verdad, teacher, porque tiene el did ya. Correcto. Cuando tiene el did, siempre que vengan, vean el did en una en una pregunta. El verbo va a ir normal porque el did es nuestro auxiliar. No lo olviden. Sería, sería enjoy. enjoy. Normal, ¿verdad? Sería el verbo que está, ¿verdad? Exacto. Did you enjoy your summer? Continue. Griselda. Si no están usando el micrófono, desactívenlo. Griselda. Eh, I did uh -huh. have. What? Yes, I did. What is the past to have? Have. Had. Had. I had a great summer. Amalia, continue. Amalia. Berosley. Teacher, a new. Mm -hmm. ah. I went. I went to mm -hmm. the beach a lot. I went to the beach a lot. Carlos, oh, this is the last one, let's see. Okay, we had two conversations. 
Let's check this one, the first one. O tenemos que completar las dos de un solo. Porque le doy a enviar. Creo que sería no. de completar las dos. A ver sí, qué dice aquí. Se va completando cada una y la va enviando. Sí, yo creo que sí, no necesita completarla todo. Dice, se ha cerrado la sesión de tu cuenta. Presiona en OK para iniciar sesión nuevamente. Ah, qué tristeza. Va, vamos a ver. Esperen que se cerró la sesión. Ah, pues hay que volver a ingresar. Ya lo vamos a hacer rapidito. Es por el internet. No, es que tiene un tiempo de, ses de, de, de sesión. Entonces, hay que volver a ingresar. Vaya. Pa, 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 pa. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ingresamos acá. Y ahora vamos a intentar de nuevo. Veamos si nos deja. Si nos deja. ¿Qué sigue? Nos vamos a querer toda la vida. It's loading. Ok. Vamos a ver. ¿Dónde estábamos? Si no me equivoco, estamos acá. Solo denme un minuto que está cargando esta cosa. Vamos a ver ahí el knowledge check. Knowledge check. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Es, es, es very important memorize the verse. Ya. Yeah. Es un, esa es una obligación de, para ustedes. Memorizarse los verbos. Eso les va a servir para toda su vida. Thanks. You're welcome. A mí me costó, créanme. Fíjense que donde yo vivo hasta la institución que viajaba, me tardaba dos horas sin trabazón. Con trabazón eran tres horas. Entonces, en vez de ir frustrado en la trabazón, me ponía a leer los, los verbos y así me los aprendí. Así que, si tienen esa opción, denle. Aprovecho el tiempo. Sí, en vez de frustrarme, mejor me ponía a escuchar audios. Va, miren, sacamos 10. Ok, let's continue with the conversation number two. Eh, let's have Claudia. Continue. What is the past of go? Did you go any, mm -hmm. anywhere like last summer? Okay. Uh, do we modify the verb or do we leave it as it is? Go. Okay, just go. No went, right? Because we have the auxiliary. Excellent. Uh, Glenda. Glenda. I'm sorry. Claudia, continue. Mm, no, I did, didn't. I didn't. Uh -huh. No, I didn't. I está, es, ¿cómo se dice? Está ahí. Stayed. Stayed. Here. Here. 
Okay, but uh, yeah. the last one, Brosley. But I um, I got mm -hmm. a part-time job, mm -hmm. so I made some extra money. Extra money. Money. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue. Help me, please. Gabriel. Did you take any class mm -hmm. last summer? Okay. Thank you. Griselda. Yes, I did. I took tennis lesson. I took. Yes. Erica. Erica? Sí, sí. Did you speak English mm -hmm. last summer? Okay, no change. No changes, right? On the verb. Jose Alejandro. Uh, mm -hmm. No, I didn't put I reading English book. No, porque hay reading. Oh. What is the past to read? Uh, read. Aha. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh -huh. I read English books. <laughs> Griselda, uh -huh. continue. Watch. Watch it. Watch it. No, don't invent. <laughs> ¿Cuál es la pronunciación que hemos visto, pues? Was. Watched. Watched. Mm -hmm. Watched. Practíquenla. Watched. Siempre eh, díganle a su cerebrito. No es watch, es watch. <risa> ok. Porque si ustedes no, no hacen ese cambio en su, en su cerebro, no lo van a lograr. Siempre van a decir watch. It. Okay, excellent, great job. Vaya, si se fijan, todo lo que hemos visto nos está saliendo bien. Excellent. Now, let's continue with the next lesson. And it says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple past, yes, no questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen to the, the video. Once you can listen to the video, let me know, please. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to ask and answer. Pueden escuchar. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Simple past, yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes-no questions. Did you have a good summer? 
Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did. Then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, Share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Do you like it? Yeah. Yes. All right. Didn't. Let me just check the conversation. Yes. Look at the question. Look at look 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 at the look look at the question. Did it did 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 we did 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 just give me did one minute. Did we had a great did we did. Did, 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 we did. Okay, lo siento. Sabe que le pasó. Um, let me go ahead and share my screenshot to the chat, and we're going to 
practice this conversation. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Okay. I need some volunteers to read the that conversation. A student A and a student B. Volunteers, you can raise your hands. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to have a, another activity that is going to help us in order to practice the verbs, okay? Regular and irregular verbs. And we are going to also uh, read at the same time. That is going to help us a lot. Okay, Gabriel and uh, Tiffany, A and B. Ready? One, two, three, action. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Did you go anywhere no. last summer? And yes, I did my sister and I went to Arizona. Mm -hmm. We stayed in the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we no we didn't. Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, actually, uh, we rode horses and uh, and we also went. We were rafting, rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great a great time. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's do it one more time. Uh, Marcos, you are going to be Laura. I'm going to be Erica. Go ahead. And then I'm going to be Laura, and then you will be Erica. Okay. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, you need to focus on pronunciation. Now, I'm going to be Laura, you are going to be Erica. So, do you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Do you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Do you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode hers and we horses. also went also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, do you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent. Se escucha diferente, verdad? La entonación es bien importante. I need two more volunteers. Uh-huh. Marcos and the second volunteer. Marcos and Gabriel, go ahead. Okay. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Uh, did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we, we, did. we did. We had a great time. Great okay. time. Excellent. Oh, hoy sí sonaron como que están en, en, en avanzado, miren. Sonaron muy bien. 
Excellent. An applause. Great. Ok. Un minuto para preguntas. Preguntas. Antes de dejarlos teacher. ir. Ajá. Teacher, teacher. Para mañana sí. quiere que traduzcamos los verbos en pasado y también lo, los regulares y los irregulares. Eh, me interesan más lo, los irregulares. Tradúzcanlo. Solo es de pasar qué significan. Para que cuando usted quiera crear una oración no se le haga difícil. O cuando usted escuche una conversación no se le haga difícil y sepa de qué se está hablando. ¿Ok? Pero igual, ¿verdad, teacher? Para el pasado perfecto se usarán los verbos en gerundio. Gerundio en perfecto. El gerundio no se usa en perfecto. Se usa el pasado participio. Por ejemplo, I have studied, I have written, I have understood, I have flown, ¿ok? Es el verbo número tres, el que se usa en presente perfecto o pasado yes. perfecto. Okay. ok, el gerundio, cuando hablamos de gerundio, se entiende con ing, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, yes. usted puede decir, I'm playing soccer, actividades que se están haciendo en el momento. I was playing soccer, o el futuro, I will be playing soccer. All okay. right. Otra pregunta. ¿Cómo han sentido este tema? ¿Fácil? ¿Difícil? ¿Entretenido? Usted lo hace. Entretenido. Usted lo hace bastante asimilable. Ok, entendible, ¿verdad? Entendible. Está complicado, teacher. Ok, me alegro eh, saber que sí, pues las actividades las están entendiendo. Yo sé que cuesta, todo es práctica. Eh, pero como dicen por ahí, la práctica es el maestro. Sí. Yo creo que es exacto con la práctica. De hecho, teacher, pues eh, yo creo que todos sufrimos en gramática, incluso en español, con los verbos. Así que sí. este, es igual, ¿verdad? En inglés. <ríe> pues, uh -huh. <ríe> vale, mañana les voy a traer una actividad que les va a gustar. Eso no, nos va a ayudar para hablar, para, para leer, para entender más los verbos y, y mezclarlos. Ya van a ver qué bonito. Vale, entonces no le quito más de su tiempo. Eh, buen provecho para los que no han cenado and see you tomorrow goodbye see you tomorrow thank you bye bye, bye. bye. bye.